Okay, here's the prototype of my chine. This is just a piece of plywood, one fourth inch plywood. And all these square tubings are hanging by this uh, galvanized wire, very thin galvanized wire. <clears throat> these are just one and a quarter square tubing. And they're hanging at they're all hanging at 32.4 percent of their length, so each of the holes are at different distances from the uh, from the ends because obviously the uh, square tubings are all of different lengths. And the the uh, the striker striker here. This is just a piece of cast iron. It's uh, something you use to pick up. Hot plates or something? Yeah, cast iron. Cast iron plates. Picking up cast iron plates. Right. <clears throat> I've got a uh, temporary sail here. It's a piece of cardboard. Found out that you know a long piece like this, like a tail, it's it's much better than a small piece of sail horizontally. Vertically, this vertical piece of sail is much more effective. <clears throat> and let's see, it's hanging off this arm over there, that arm up there, that's uh, that's my light, fluorescent light, that can swing around that way, and this light can swing 180 or maybe even 360 degrees. <clears throat> Okay, the whole thing's swaying now. Because let's steady the thing and stop it from swinging. <clears throat> There's a breeze right now. Uh, a breeze right now. Probably can hear it clanging. Okay, here comes a, a gust of wind. <clears throat> it should start swinging. And there you go, a slight clanging of the chimes. I'm going to change this piece of plywood to something more sturdy. Probably going to put this outdoors. I'm going to have to brush this and paint it. It's got a, uh, actually has a red lid primer on it, which I brushed off using a wire cup brush. I'm not sure, maybe I'm going to brush it all off or just kind of, it kind of looks nice, a bit rustic looking, maybe I just put a coat of varnish on it, and this one too, maybe just a coat of varnish, or painted black, maybe, okay, that's my prototype wind chime.